Konnichiwa, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to my Japanese Faves series where we'll cover every major type of Japanese food. This lesson is Tori Katsu. Tori Katsu is a variation on Tonkatsu, which is pork cutlet. But here we're using chicken breast or Tori to make Tori Katsu. Both Tori Katsu and Tonkatsu are very popular dishes in Japan. Japanese usually accompany this dish with shredded cabbage, but I use coleslaw because I think it matches great with the katsu. I also use my traditional tonkatsu sauce. So let's start cooking. All right, now we're going to prep the chicken to make our tori katsu. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut off the kind of the pointed end that's thinner. Why am I doing that? Because after we do this, we're going to slice this horizontally to make two medallions, and I want them to be roughly the same thickness throughout and this piece tapers and it gets thinner as you go so I'm not going to use that as part of this dish I am going to keep this and use it for something else and okay, then what we want to do is slice this chicken breast horizontally into two medallions All right and then we want to cut them in half to make a total of four medallions. Okay. All right, now I've put some plastic down on top of my board, and then I put the medallions of uh, chicken on top of the plastic, and then I put another sheet of plastic over top of that, and I've kept some space between them because we're to pound them out a little bit, and we want them to uh, have room to expand as they're pounded out. So we're going to pound them till they're about um, uh, half half to three-eighths of an inch thick. Okay, now we're going to bring our oil up to temperature, and that temperature is going to be 360, okay? I'm putting the uh, flame on uh, medium. I want to bring the temperature up slowly because I don't want the temperature to shoot past 360, okay? So what we're going to do is keep an eye on it. We're going to moderate it. And as it gets close to 360, we'll probably reduce the heat so that we don't shoot past 360. All right, now I've rolled back the top piece of plastic, and now we're just going to lightly season each one of the medallions with salt and pepper on both sides. And you know I like to pat it in. All right, now we're going to dredge the chicken pieces. And um, on the um, notes, I have one cup of flour and two eggs lightly beaten and about a cup of uh, panko breadcrumbs. I'm using probably about half of that right now. And if I need more, I'll use more. Uh, so first we want to dredge the uh, chicken piece in flour. Then we want to dredge it in the egg and then into the panko get it well coated with the panko then we're going to dredge it in the egg again and then we're going to dredge it in the make sure you get it well coated there on the bottom Okay, then we're going to dredge it in the panko again. And why do we do this? In making katsu, it gives you a firmer crust, okay? And we're going to do that with each one of the chicken medallions. Okay, now we're going to drop the chicken medallions into the oil at 360 degrees just briefly okay we're just going to leave them in there briefly to firm them up get them very lightly golden brown and i'm working in batches so we don't reduce the heat of the oil um, very much okay now we're going to take them out put them on some crumpled brown paper your next batch. Okay, now I have done the second batch. Uh, I'm going to uh, skim some of this um, 
some of these panko breadcrumbs out of here. And we're gonna reduce the heat to 300 degrees. So what I've done is I've just turned the heat off, okay? And we're gonna let it drop. And when it starts to approach 300 degrees, I'll turn the heat back on to medium, moderate it to try to keep it right at 300 degrees. Okay, our heat is down to 300 degrees. Now we're gonna put the medallions back into the oil and we're gonna let them fry until they are nice and golden. Probably about three minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes. They look beautifully golden. Okay, and we're gonna take those out, put them on the crumpled brown paper, check our temperature, make sure it's still 300 degrees, which it is, and then we're gonna do the next batch. Okay, now we're gonna take our medallions and we're gonna slice them into pieces that are about, oh, I'd say three eighths of an inch to a half an inch thick, okay? And we're gonna do that with each one of the medallions and then we're gonna plate up. Okay, here we have the Torikatsu plated up. I'll give them a very, very light sprinkling of salt, just a few grains. So we have the torikatsu sliced on a plate with some coleslaw. Traditionally in Japan it would be uh, shredded cabbage, but I like doing, doing it with the coleslaw. Some lemon wedges and some traditional tonkatsu sauce. I have a separate lesson on that. You can see photos at the, of the final dish at my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.